Hey guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's session is a mobility session focusing on our upper body, particularly our shoulders. You don't need much at all today other than a space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and a strap or PVC pipe, broom handle, um, whatever you can get hold of to help you with some shoulder pass-throughs. And whenever you're ready, come and join me in the centre of the mats with your strap or PVC pipe. So we're just going to begin today's session with a couple of shoulder pass-throughs. So if you grab a hold of your strap, if you've got a strap, wrap one end around one hand and then grab a hold of the other one. If you are using a pipe or broom, then grab a hold of your um, pipe and we're going to kind of have it so that your arms are out wide and the pipe sits within your kind of hip crease. So that's the kind of distance that you're going for with your arms. Eventually you can narrow this um, grip as your mobility um, enhances. So we're just going to do alternating shoulder rotations today. So usually we would do the pass throughs up and over. Today we are going to take one arm, right back, tap, and then come forwards, and then alternate with the other arm, tap, and come back forwards. So we're just going to do five each side, alternating each time, always bringing that same arm back and forward and then switching over. So we're not doing complete rotations with the pipe um, today. So I've now lost count. <laughs> I think we're on number four each side. So we'll go for another one each side just to finish off. Last one and relax. Next we're going to take our hands out to the side, palms facing down. So you're going to create this nice crucifix T-shaped position with your arms and really activate through the muscles. So think about squeezing those shoulder blades together, having that nice upright position, pulling the chest open. So we're going to do palms down and then rotate palms up and really press into each end of the movement. We're just going to do 10 of these, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax, shake those shoulders off. Coming down to the floor now, we're going to come onto our hands and knees and come back to our usual cat cows. So this is a really good one for the spine mobility. Um, it also helps with the shoulder and the chest and the front body. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And you're just going to think about dipping the stomach towards the floor, squeezing those shoulder blades back and down and looking up towards the ceiling. So really open your chest, open your heart, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, round through the back, think about creating a wave through the spine, moving vertebrae by vertebrae, pushing the ground away in that end position, pulling the shoulder blades apart and sucking the navel up towards the spine. So you're really hollowing the body out away from the floor. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Really exaggerate each one of those end positions. We're going to do three more each way. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to round. And really take your time going through each movement. Don't rush these, you won't get the benefit. Last one and then relax. Remaining on our hands and knees now, we are going to do thread the needle. So we're going to take the left hand through and take it under the right arm, bringing the left shoulder to the floor, taking the ear to the floor as well and looking out underneath our right armpit. As we inhale, we're going to lift all the way back up, reaching up high out toward the left with that left arm, opening up the shoulders. So you're exhaling to reach through, threading the needle and then lifting to open the shoulders. So that's two. We're going to do five of these in total on each side. So three, four, five, and then return back to that hands and knees kneeling position and we'll repeat on the other side. So right arm now goes through underneath the left, taking that shoulder to the floor, ear to the floor, look out under the armpit, find that twist. Inhale to lift and reach, exhale to thread. 
So again, five on this side. Really exaggerate that end position. I think we've got one more to go. And then once you've done that last reach, return back to that kneeling position. So remaining on our knees still, we're going to do some wrist extension. So we'll start with our palms flat on the floor. So try not to have your hands completely flat when you're using your hands on the floor. Think about just creating a little bit of a lift and resistance. It's like your feet are, they're not completely flat. Think about grabbing the mat with your fingertips and then pressing the heels of the hands into the ground and then maybe the knuckles as well. So from here, we're just going to rock back and forth. So the closer you bring your hands and the further you rock, your shoulders over those wrists, the more mobility you're going to get. But just take it easy. We're just going to do 10 rocks forwards, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to take the fingertips out to the sides of the mat. You can bring the palms together or the heels of the hands together if you want, or you can take your hands out wider wherever you need to be. And we're just going to rock from side to side, five times each side. Four, five. And then bring the fingertips back towards the knees. And again, we're just going to do 10 rocks backwards. So this will be a little bit less of a movement because there's less movement range for most people in this position. So just gently keeping the heels of the hands glued to the floor, pull back on those wrists and just feel that stretch. Gently mobilize the joint. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just relax, shake off the wrists, maybe churn them as well if you want to. From a standing position, we're going to interlace the fingers behind our back and clasp the hands together, pulling the hands away from the shoulders. So we're opening up the chest and inhaling to find that length in our body. We're then going to exhale as we hinge at the hips, keeping that length into a nice forward fold. And then we're going to pull the hands away from the back. So you're pulling them up towards the ceiling, bending the knees because we don't need to worry about kind of leg flexibility at the moment. We're working on our upper body. And we're just going to gently pulse five to 10 times, pulling those shoulders and opening, limbering up the rotator cuff range of motion. Couple more pulls or pulses. One last one and then exhale, relax, shake it all off. And then we're going to come down into a seated position on the floor. So come to the back of your mats in a kneeling position. We're going to reach the arms out forwards and we're going to come into an extended child's um, pose. However, we are going to take a tricep stretch. So palms together, walk the elbows forwards. You can lift the bum off the heel slightly and think about pressing the head through the arms so you can feel that stretch across the other back. You're then going to pull back with the hands towards your shoulders and find that tricep stretch. If you can get your thumbs to your spine, stay there and you can just do 10 sort of pulses of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are then going to take the hands flat to the floor, crisscross the hands over. So we're going to go with left under right or right on top of left to start. Forehead to the floor and look out under your right armpit and just hold for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then slowly come back to centre. We're going to take then the right hand underneath the left and repeat on the other side. So look up under your left armpit this time and just hold for five deep breaths. Last 
Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then just slowly turn back to centre, uncross the arms. And if you want to take a moment there in normal extended child's pose, you can. Or just relief your hands um, by your side and sit back in your normal child's pose for a couple of breaths. Just to shake out those shoulders. Finally, we're going to work into our thoracic spine. So we're going to reach up forward, staying in this child pose position. I'm going to take you through the puppy pose variation. So first option is extended child's pose, arms out in front, forehead to floor. If this is comfortable for you, please stay here and take a few breaths. If you want to take it further, just simply come up slightly off your knees and bring your chin to the floor and take your eye gaze to the front of the mat. So keep reaching forward to those hands, Opening up those armpits, keep reaching and stretching through the thoracic and now the cervical spine. Take a few deep breaths. Just gradually relax the body down. Try not to let your hips come up too high in this position. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And if this is comfortable for you and you're feeling like this is as far as you want to go today, then feel free to stay here. If you want to work all the way down into uh, full puppy pose, we're going to drop the chest to the floor, trying to keep the hips stacked on top of the knees. So I'm going to push back, sorry, I'm going to shuffle back onto my mat. So I'm going to use the end of my mat, gripping a hold of it and push my chest back in towards my knees, shuffle my knees underneath my hips and just take a few deep breaths here, eventually allowing my chest to go all the way to the floor, really working deep into the thoracic spine, reaching the chin forwards, eye gaze forwards, opening up those armpits. And again, we're just taking sort of five to 10 deep breaths here. We are nearly there now, guys. With every exhale, try and let your breath, uh, your chest go deeper into the mat below. And then whenever you're ready, just slowly come on out of that position. Bring your arms back beside you and tuck your head in towards your knees and just relax up your spine. And if you want to take a mini sabbatana to finish your practice here today, you are more than welcome. 